Hello and welcome back again my friend with Bitcoin price prediction or Bitcoin forecast or BTC price prediction. This is Thomas video again. We came back in another video. So as every time, if you are a long term trader, stick with us only here in the weekly, daily. If you are a swing trader, go to the four hours. And if you are a scalper and day trader, go to 30 minutes and you're going to find timeline down the description of that video. So go choose depending on your trading style and the timeline, it will sort your trading style. So let's start our lesson of today by the way before we even start you yes you are you not yet subscriber why my friend make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the bell notification on to receive all our latest updates and videos it's not something hard just a red button down click at that next to it a bell turn it to also like that when we put in a new video you're going to be notified you done it welcome to the family so guys as you see here that the weekly candle here it's finished here that red one here and and it gives us something here in that level here. Very, 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 very important here. I'm going to show it to you. Look at it here. That blue one here. That the 200 moving average here in the weekly. Yes, over here the 50 moving average is crossing below in the 200. But look what the market done here in that level here. It's showing to us that level here is still stronger. So now let's see what's going to happen here. Next week, it's need a green candle to come here to close like that to telling us that the market is going to go more higher if it doesn't come a green candle like that and came a red candle like that and breaking below like that that means we're going to see the bitcoin falling down guys and that a bad sign if it happened like that so that's what shall we do here for the weekly we need to wait in till the next week either we're going to fall down here to touch that level here that one here and we are very close to touch it because if it came a, a red candle and breaking the 200 moving average down we're going to fall down guys that bad sign here but if it's not and came here at that level here next week a green candle here that meant the bitcoin is going to take off and also we follow you every day we're telling you what's going to happen so i think picture is too clear here so here in the weekly we don't have nothing to explain more than that i think picture is too clear guys here now let's go in to see the coming news for all the week for pictures to get more clear to you so let's go in there for that week guys as you see that the news we got here as you see in monday we don't got nothing no event in monday Tuesday, what we got here as you see it we don't got something special for usa we just got here retail sales and that one is very 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 important guys is going to tell you how is the economic of usa doing so be focused with that then wednesday we got building permit and crude oil invent inventory even that one doesn't got a big impact to the market then thursday what we got here as you see it here we got initial jobless claim philadelphia fed manufacturing index then exiting home sales then on friday our friend jerome powell is going to come to talk to tell us uh, his speech what he looking at the economic because tell now everything it's looking bad then president Lagarde of the ECB is going to come to talk ag again. So in Friday is going to be a very, very, very special day. Be focused about that, guys. And here we got our friend, the table of us. Us we're looking at it every day. As you see it, what it's telling you here. As every time, guys. Monday, look at it everything it start red so we need to wait until tomorrow how it's going to end up those candles here that a good sign it's showing to me here but let's wait in because us that one is just um, applying about intention us we need to be focused about price action tell now we don't got any price action in the chart so we need to wait and more and here our friend is the vex also we still below 20 that meant everything still looking good and the bad news here is that one guys look at that the US dollar it's break that 101 and it's reached near to 102.5 that very 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 bad sign guys so you need to be focused even now at that one i think picture is too clear here guys we don't need to make the video too long now let's go in to see what the bitcoin doing today in the daily so let's go in there here we are in the daily over here is only for long term trading by the way you yes you i know you are a subscriber and you've been with us for some time did you smash the like button you don't why my friend pause the video now smash the like button writing down a comment support us guys you know that channel without you it can grow enough you done it thank you very 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 
very much my friend as you see guys here today the daily candle finished here it give us here a green day but that green day if we zoom in here that candle here to see it was it give us here if you focus it with me here that green candle here what it telling you there that a indecision candle that man no bulls no bears winning now the market no one got a decision where is the market is going to go either up or either down everyone is scared here so tell now we need to wait and more what's going to happen guys there is no clear picture there at that level there you need to be focused more where is the market is going to go in the coming days and coming hours and here us we still stuck in that level here i show you before because some people they make it based on that one it's not based on that one it's based on the tails of those ones here that's how me i'm making that level here that's why tell now we haven't break it down we need to wait in more yes us we got here that head and shoulder like that but tell now we haven't breaking down and if we're breaking down guys i show you in the weekly we're going to break the 200 moving average in the weekly and that one is a very 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 bad sign so let's hope that week we're going to came a green candle like that to go back the market to here and if you remember in friday also we show you where is the levels we got so tell now everything still looking the same me i haven't changed nothing my view also we buying from here 20 percent if it touching down here the 200 moving average we're going to buy in 50 percent from our capital that's the view of us and if it's falling more down also we're going to buy and i'm going to tell you where to buy because us we're investing for long term not for day trading or something for day trading go to 30 minutes and you're going to find everything there I think picture is too clear here guys we don't need to make the video too long now let's go into the four hours to see what bitcoin doing today so it's going there here we are in the four hours guys over here is only four swing trading yes you are right also here in the four hours what we said in the last videos we've been talking about we're talking here about that wage as we got here as you see it we still have it here and as you see the market he can tell here and it's showing here a sign maybe the market is going to fall down but the good news now as we are here in the border of that indicator here or that wage here now if it came a candle and break it like that that means we need to enter long guys take profit for that one it's need to be all up here and that's what else we want if it came like that and all the week we close and tell here that's a very 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 good sign but you need to be focused about tomorrow what the market is going to tell you because monday i've been talking about that thousands of times guys and another thing here that will make me still scared tell now me is that one here that level here it's very very stronger level as you see it last time from here we jump in all that much up here now the market when it break it here it going back to test it again here now if we don't break here and we go back here again either from here it's going to fall down down and to break for us that last low which is here so tell now you need to be focused on what the market is going to do in that level where we are here here exactly you need to be focused on what the market is going to do guys there everything is too clear now it's going to see our indicator what it's saying here all is going there our indicator as you see it guys we touch here the downtrend we have now either from here is going to break it and to enter here to the bull market or another scenario from here is going to fall down to touch here the oversold area i show you me in the last videos we got here a very clear divergence from that one and that one here but that one is just an oscillator guys also we need to be focused about the price action the only price action you got is that wage in the four hours if it's getting broke above if you enter long if it's breaking down we'll enter short that the only thing we have tell now and our indicator is telling us us we still in the control of the bear that meant us we still in a downtrend there is no balls yet no uptrend yet so we need to wait until we get a clear picture i think picture is too clear guys we don't need to make the video too long so it's going to see our other indicator what it's saying that one here as you see it we touch here the oversold area level also we are in a very very stronger level if you came from here and here 
look at it you came to that one here i'll show it to you and those ones here you are in a very very stronger supply and demand zone guys should you inch along now my friend it's not because us we touch our supply and demand zone and our indicator is it down here at the oversold area we need to enter long no we need to wait in the price action because the price action it doesn't repent itself levels they can be broken indicators it can stay here for years here as you see it how long it's been then here at the overbought area the most important is the price action and the price action we got here now at this time is that wage here so there is no entry long unless if we're breaking above here yes we can enter long if the market fall down and breaking down here we will enter short guys everything is too clear now let's go in to see what the bitcoin doing today in 30 minutes or so it's going there here we are in 30 minutes over here is only for scalping and day trading in the last video guys what we had told you we came here to that one here like that and down here we came and we do it like that and i told you we got down here a flag as you see it guys we couldn't break above here and we couldn't break now down here so tell now you need to wait in more what the market is going to do here another thing very very important here in 30 minutes i show it to you before let me show it to you again i told you before we got down here a down channel like that as you see it guys we touch the top of the down channel here as you see it very clear down channel we touch the top of it here now either from here is going to fall down to touch the lower here or from here is going to break here at that level here and from here is going to go up or it's going to go back down and to break down here so tell now us we be focused either we're going to break here the top of that channel here we will enter long or another scenario it's need to come down here to break for us that flag i just show you then us we will enter short guys a flag actually is a continuation pattern that's indicating that the market is going to continue it upward but tell now you you need to be focused you just came here you see that one here that one here and that one here and you're connecting them by a trend line like that very simple like that as you see it and you're waiting the market to be broken here for you to enter long guys the wage else we got in the four hours is it that one look at it you see it or no that the wage us we got in the four hours guys so you need to be focused where is the market is going to go now let's go to see our indicator what it's saying here in 30 minutes our indicator here in 30 minutes telling us us we are here at the overbought area level us we are in a very stronger supply and demand zone look at it last time from here we jump up and now we couldn't break that level here of the day of the cpi here so tell now there is no entry long and there is no entry short i just show you the price actions you got if it's breaking down here you need to enter short if it's breaking above here that meant us we're going to enter long guys even if our indicator is it here at the overbought area because that one at the end of the day just an oscillator us we base our trading on the price action with oscillators guys everything is too clear guys so that's it for that video and please guys don't forget to support us by just smashing the like button writing down a comment you done it thank you very 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 much my friends see you in another video guys bye for now